All right, we're back at it today, guys. Uh, we're a little over six weeks here on the KBG renovation, and I featured a video recently where I talked about the fertilizers and the applications I've been making to my lawn, and I teased something in one of those videos about the pellet applicator gun and the wetting agent pellets that have the sea kelp and the cytokines in them, and I had some questions about the gun that I was using. It, it was a DIY build, and then I also had some questions about the actual product itself, so I wanted to go and show you guys how I made that gun uh, for under $40, and then also talk a little bit about the seed pellets themselves. So let's go. Right, guys so I got everything laid out here that you're going to need for your DIY build this is a really simple build it's really cheap one of these guns pre-assembled from the manufacturer is going to run anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars depending on where you buy it from and I can make this the sprayer build for under 40 bucks so let's talk about what we've got and before we do that we'll get into the C extra pellets themselves this is the pellet that I'm using as my wedding agent uh, one of these pellets is made by uh, Ecologel the same company that brought you BioPro, the liquid fertilizer lines, and this particular pellet will cover 12,000 square feet of coverage area for not only the seaweed extract but also the water penetration pellet, which is basically just a wetting agent. And so wetting agents are good for hydrophobic soils. Um, they reduce sur surface tension of the water. Um, they also help water retention in the soil. Um, localized dry spots is something that like golf courses use on their greens to sort of any uh, areas that might be a little hydrophobic, they use this to loosen that up a little bit. Um, it also increases nutrient availability in the soil um, and some water to air ratios too. So these have a lot of benefits, especially if you've got new sod. This is something that's gonna help you big time when you're trying to establish new sod or new turf like I have done here with my, with my Kentucky bluegrass. Um, also the, the seaweed is gonna help with root development. So that's why it's good for new sod. If you've got a new stand of turf, whether that's, you know, uh, freshly laid sod or maybe some some new seeds. This is going to help you establish some of those roots Now the parts I've got here um, Start with the PVC valve um, This is a uh, I believe this is a one inch uh, Valve that you can get from a local big box store. These things run for about three dollars. This particular one is three dollars You're also going to need some three-quarter inch adapters this is a one inch to three quarter inch adapter. Each one of these is $1.50. You're also going to need a three quarter inch swivel adapter. This is so you can connect it to your hose. You can do brass or PVC, whichever one you prefer. You're also going to need a one inch manifold. Now mine's already connected to the water bowl. Um, I installed and used this unit before. I took it all apart to show you and I can't get this part out. Uh, but there's a one inch threaded manifold that you use. That's $1.29 uh, online at Home Depot. And then this general pump water bowl is going to run anywhere from $20 to $25 depending on what size you get. This is the one inch model. And so this one is $24 online. And then you just need a standard hose nozzle. Uh, this is a fire hose nozzle. This will work perfectly fine for like typical homeowner type pressure if you get, you know, 40, 50, 60 PSI at your hose spigot. This is going to be perfect for you. If you really want to get nasty with it, you can get one of these underhill cloudburst nozzles. Um, these are really designed for the guys at the golf course that use these type of applications. Um, as you can see, it gives a kind of a precise fan type app application. Um, so I went ahead and got one of these two just so I can see the difference between this nozzle and the fire hose nozzle. And I'm just going to use a pair, of, this is an adjustable wrench. You can see it's pretty rusty. I use it for like, you know, maintaining my sprinkler heads and things like that. So um, for all in all, everything you see here, even if you've got the optional um, uh, Teflon tape, even if you've got some of these on hand, these hose washers, you can use these hose washers on your inlets. Everything here, less than 40 bucks. Everything that you see in front of you actually comes out to about $38. All right, so this setup is pretty easy to put together. Um, your general pump is going to actually show you on the water bowl which direction the flow needs to go. And all you need to do is remember to put your hose nozzle on this side and your ball valve on this side. So I've already got my, um, my inlet installed, so let's go ahead 
and just hand crank this hand tight. Like I said, you can use the Teflon tape. It's not completely necessary if you don't really want to. Not a big deal. So we got our ball valve on there nice and tight. Take one of your one inch to three quarter inch adapters. And just tighten that on the best that you can. Again, it doesn't have to be like Gorilla Tight. And just like that, I have my applicator gun put together in less than 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and we'll drop in our pellet. And we'll get to spraying. All right, so we got about half the yard done with the cheap Home Depot $5 nozzle. Let's see if it's any different with this uh, more expensive Cloudburst nozzle. It's actually a pretty windy day, not the most ideal uh, conditions really for uh, spraying things on the lawn, but um, overall I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. Now one thing I want to note about this nozzle, the cloudburst nozzle that I just used, is that it lays, it sprays out a much heavier water droplet, which helped me big time blowing into the wind. I didn't feel like I lost anything to, uh, um, you know, the wind blowing at me when I was blowing it out. I didn't really feel any water hitting me. I didn't see anything misting off. So I definitely think this nozzle is worth it. Um, if it's something that you want to splurge on, I certainly don't have to. The fire hose nozzle works pretty well. Um, and then really all you do after you've made your application is you just remove the water tank like this. And you want to store your pellet back in the original container. You don't want to let it sit in water um, or else it's going to just basically dissolve. 
inside of this canister and then when you go to apply it again it's going to basically just over apply in small sections and you'll run out of product so um, I applied that I've, this is my second application on the C extra pellet I've applied it twice so I'm doing it every two weeks and I'm gonna do that until the growing season ends like I said this will get me 12,000 square feet so I'm gonna continue to use this there are other products you can use in these spray guns you don't have to use the water penetrating you can get humic and fulvic and all types of things that you can use in these pellet applicators that are really nice so um, but for the most part this is their general use is for wetting agents on for golf course management basically their turf management programs is what they use it for so for 40 bucks or less you can make this applicator or you can buy one already pre-assembled anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars i'll leave that part up to you um, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments section. I will link up all the parts to this particular spray body in the description um, to where you can find those. If you want to order them online, you can certainly do that. Or even if you just want to go to your local hardware store, you can find all of these parts. Um, not so sure about this piece, specifically the water bowl, but everything else you can find at your local hardware store in the plumbing section. So. Um, Thank you for, for watching and sticking around for another video, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.